Carolina Fishing TV, showing you how to catch more fish. Folks, we're on June 19th. We are fishing the HT3 Redfish Series out of Beaufort today. I've got uh, Dan Vinant from Pure Fishing on board today with me. We're about an hour and a half into the falling tide. And um, we're only going to have about two hours of fish this morning, and then it's going to be rock bottom. There's not going to be any water around here. And then we're going to have to scrape around and try to do something today. So we've got about an hour to get a couple of nice fish in the boat. Oh man, this guy's awesome. There's a foot and a half of water in here, and they're still waving their tails. They're, they're suspended right on top of the water. These fish get spooky as can be. And you can turn that trolling motor on to the first click and she'll still spook these fish. There he is. There he goes, here he goes, here he goes. He's gonna hit it. He turned away from it. He shot away from it. All right, here we go. Cast one side of him. You're in them. Yeah. One or two twitches, let it set down. He's on there. They turn back, they're still going that way. Play him nice and easy. We got time. That might be the fish we need right there. He's a dink. Tighten down, bring him in. That comes off right now. There he is. Let's try to get a little cast. Yeah, I got one. I got a little fish. They're going down that marsh and way down there. Look at him. Yeah. There was a few fish coming this way. It looked like reds right on that marsh coming this way. Almost to the point there. You gotta do what you gotta do. They're going back down the marsh again, going the other way. We're gonna have to get up in that bay, back out here in the middle of that bay, on the trolling motor for a minute, and hopefully they push back in here. That's them. Yeah, can you crank up and get in there? Yeah, ain't, if that's them, they ain't eating. There it goes, yeah. Toss it to the pole quick, on the white pole. I got the trolling motor shot off. They're in further to the beach shore there. See, I'm wondering if this fish is following him. I loosened up on him to see where he'd go. Might be a decent fish here. This is a decent fish. He's either he's over 25. Not exactly what we're looking for. Definitely the right species. Usually you just look right at him, you know he's like over 27, under 27. He looked at him, we're like 25 maybe. And look what he is right there, pinch tail. He's actually almost 27, look at it. But he's not impressive as a fish. Now don't get me wrong, he probably weighs about 6.8. But a good red fish will weigh about seven and a half. I mean, a seven and a half is a solid. He's hard to beat. The other one is, uh, she got a 26 and a half on him. They're skinny fish, though. Mm -hmm. So, right They're now, hungry. We've got a 12 and a half pound weight, and we got something in the boat. And we've got the rest of the day. We're probably 300 yards from where the last spot was where we followed these fish from. So, um, they're going back that way. They're probably going to go right back where we saw them earlier. So we can take a minute to chill, get these fish in two different live wells. I don't like to usually keep both fish in one live well. Uh, if a live well quits, you lose both fish, you know. So we get the back one going, drop one in there, and we're going to ease back in this creek and see if we can find them again. One of our preferred guys, Captain Rennie Clark, tournament trail charters, he is uh, fishing up Morehead City direction, and he's got a camera on board as well. Rennie said they've been catching some pigs, some nice sized fish, so hopefully, hopefully we'll see some, uh, some good results from that today. Hi, I'm Captain Rennie Clark with Tournament Trail Charters out of Wilmington, North Carolina, and this is my stepdaughter Peyton. 
Foster and she's going to be fishing with me today in the HT3 series here in Moorhead City. What we're fishing is a little creek here that's uh, going to split right and left and in the middle at the very end there's about six feet and these fish will pull in off of these um, this this grass flat that's all around us. At high tide all of this grass is flooded and these fish will tail on this flat. A lot of bait moving around and uh, we're going to throw a top partner and spinner bait and see what they're in the mood for this morning. He's got it. Get the net. Get the net. Okay. I don't think he's going to measure. Just throw down the middle of the creek. Okay. There's fish there. That was a school. Good boy. Oh, he ain't going to measure. He's too big. All right, grab the net. All right, just dip his head. Just wait until I bring him in there and put his head in there. Go ahead. Go ahead and get him. Go ahead and get him. Go ahead. Oh. Pretty fish. Yeah. Nine pounds. Yep, fun fishing. That is a nice fish right there. He ate that plug. Absolutely demolished that skitter walk. Oh, yep. Coming down the that. creek. That's a big red. Mm -hmm. This red will eat. Um, wait, there they are. Oh That's a whole God. school of them. That's a whole school, guys. Don't throw. This one will measure. You gotta keep in mind those oysters though. There's a school of fish right here. Yeah, this is the ones we want here. This is the right size. Come on up here, sweetie. All right, don't put the net in the water until I tell you, okay? Mm -hmm. You gotta net, net nose first and then just push him in there. Okay. Okay? Okay. That's a good fish. All right. Yeah, he's legal. We just gotta get him in the net now. All right, all right, put the net down in the water. I'm gonna bring him to you. Get him. Job titles. <laughs> this is the perfect pincher they use on the HT3 series. You get the fish good and straight, and you pinch it down, and you see his his, his tail is over. It's about almost 28. So that one's not, not going to work for us. I thought he might, but he's, he was close. Um, which one do you want? I got another. One. All right, babe. Okay. I'll get the net. He ain't going to measure. I saw him coming through the back of the school thinking, all right, I'll come across the top. Oh, it broke me off. That's <laughs> what'll happen. This is oysters in here and there's just no way to, no way you can stop that from happening. See him? See that fish right there? Mm -hmm. That's an aggressive fish. He's gonna hit about anything you throw in front of him on top of him. Just kind of sit back right there. Check. Look at him. Yeah. Watch okay. this. Okay. Let's see him. Hopefully not too big. There he is. Get him. Fish. Get him. Good job, babe. Keep rod tip high, high to the sky. I'm trying. Okay. Good job. See all those fish in the back? Don't let him get you left. Try to pull him right. Okay. Really hard, really hard. That one will definitely make it. <gasps> really hard, really hard, baby. Don't give up. I'm not giving up. No. You gotta get him off of these oysters. I'm trying. Move it to the right. <laughs> yeah, hold it, hold it. Good job, baby. That's your first slot fish in the redfish tournament. Mm -hmm. You did good. You did better than fake, Dad. Good job. You caught a slotty. That pretty good tournament fish. You pinch that tail down and look at that perfect pincher. Right there on that 26. We just came off of uh, low tide here, Moorhead City. We got shoaled up. We got way back in a little feeder creek off of a big flat here in Moorhead and uh, we whacked them this morning and found two schools way in the back of this flat. Made up two schools in the back of this little feeder creek we're in right now. Tried to get out of here. Uh, we waited too late. We sat here for three and a half hours. They should be about to turn on and start eating these little grass shrimp and uh, mullet minnows and uh, mud minnows. That have, they're, they're, this creek is just full of them and uh, as the tide rises these, all this bait will try to get in the marsh grass banks and uh, hide from these fish. Once it gets over the grass, it turns into a whole different story. There he is. Yep, get the net, babe. Good job, babe. Good job. Yours is bigger than mine, we got two now. Ain't gonna be embarrassed. We got about nine and a half, almost ten pounds. And we got about ten more minutes of fishing, then we're gonna roll back in. Little 
pop. Uh -huh. That's the in there. Put it in there. See if you can reach. If you can't, I'll get closer and I'll shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Oh, oh God. Let me get the boat left. Ah, uh, they turned. They're back over there. There they are. I'm right in them. They're going to get real finicky on the scene. They won't eat. It's good to chase them around. Got them? Mm -hmm. They're to the left of my bait toward the shore. See in there? We'll get the net on him. She's still over 25. She's about 26, I believe. Bring him up here. It looks so. Nah, short. 24. 24. Yeah. So much of this is just patterning this fish. It's, it's, uh, we're lucky. We're very fortunate today. We've got like a two mile an hour breeze. It was actually five or, five or six miles an hour when we left the uh, checkout this morning. We're losing that wind so we can really see these fish. There's, there two, there's two fish right there. That's just a couple. That's just a couple fish there. Yeah. No, that's not a couple fish. It's more than that. That's a different group. They're in two groups in here. He's sitting on the bottom. I saw him coming I back. I it on the bottom. I twitched it one time. We're going to go around the stern. Get up quick. Go to the stern and see if we can get one on. Twenty-four and a half. And, uh, I think they're headed back this way. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah. It's a dink, isn't it? <laughs> He was swimming with it. He was uh, hey, at least we engulfed it. Yeah, yeah. Tiny one? I think it's a little guy. Uh, yeah, it's a little. Good, they're going back on the bay. Put it way up ahead of all of them. There's a lot of fish right there. It is. We've been fishing a good hour this morning, probably an hour and a half, something like that. And, uh, Tide's dropping out real low on us. These bays are down to about 12, 13 inches of water now. We're gonna get out of here before we get stuck. We're starting to bump bottom. And we're gonna move on to our next spot. We found a few nice fish out there closer to the beach and um, maybe even hit that surf today. That's them right there beside us. That was them right there. Got a Good, pure head water there. Yeah, this is not something we get to do this time of the year. This is really, really calm out here. For late June, this is really calm and uh, the water's been real clear lately. So we figured uh, tide's getting too low in the backwaters. We got two nice fish in the box, but tide's getting too low back there to really mess around. And our fish were shutting down, so we decided to come out along the surf and see if we can find any reds out here. There's not as many reds in the surf in the summertime as the wintertime, but sometimes there's a school here or there. And um, we just eased down here. We hadn't been um, half a mile or so from the inlet, and we saw what looked like headwater. We can't see through the water yet. The water's clear, but there's, no, there's very little sun yet. And the water's pretty smooth up there on the backwash. Now, as we're coming down the surf, it looked like headwater, just like you'd see in the backwaters. And we tossed in there, and we got one on here. It might be too big. <laughs> He's a 28-inch fish, 28 and a quarter. Real silver. You can tell these fish have been out here. These fish that hit the backwaters. If they did, they've been out here quite a while. Pretty fish, just an inch too long. Right then, we got to anchor down here. I'm going to put out of here, come to the back of the boat. Okay, right there you had them? Yep. See if that's down there. Looks like they're going over the, over the shoal back over there. All right, he's a good fish right there, boy. Oh, that's a nice fish. He's 25 inches. He's a slot. He's not bigger than what we got in the box. Take a red? Yeah, shaking. That sounds good. He's got, he's got a lot of drag like a redfish. how thick he is, he's got a body to him. Oh, yeah. He ain't real fat, but he's got head and shoulders to him. And he is, he's almost 26, look. He's pushed forward, look, he's 26. The other fish is 26 and a quarter, 26 and a half. Yeah. They're measuring about the same, it's not that big of a deal. We're about an ounce difference probably is what we are. We'll let that one go. Before we do, make sure our other fish is uh, alive in the back. He's good. He's good. All right. He's gone. Bluefish, hit it right by the boat. Vanish. 
Even though Spanish mackerel eat that gulp shrimp. <laughs> that, that's my first Spanish on gulp. Alright folks, we are back here in Moorhead City. We just made about a 30 mile run back from the other side of Swansboro. Uh, it started getting a little nasty on us. Uh, we got some thunderstorms getting ready to settle in. So. Yep, we had, had a good time. Caught some fish. Yeah, caught a few anyway. Caught a few. Not as many as we thought. Good day of pre-fishing yesterday. Found a bunch of fish. Yeah, well we still saw two good schools yeah. today. So it's, uh, I think in, any, in a redfish tournament, you find one good school of fish and you know you're doing good. So. Dan, how long have you been with Pure Fishing? Uh, I've been with Pure Fishing four years, right at four years now. Um, cover uh, most of eastern North Carolina and then all of Virginia. Uh, big saltwater market, Berkeley, Penn, Shakespeare, our three big top brands. What we caught everything on Gulp today. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, where's that new, uh, that new bait this, you brought with this you? This is it. This is the, uh, the four inch ripple mullet. Uh, we figured out how to make a fire tail in Gulp. Uh, pretty neat. It has lots of action. Uh, water kind of channels down these grooves. You know, caught a fish on the ripple mullet and the four inch pearl white pokies. That's it. And you know, that's my, one of my favorites. I just favorites. Uh, all around caught everything on that thing. Yep. So. <laughs> Flounder, trout, drum, hard um, to beat. Almost every trip I run fishing redfish, I've got this particular bait on the boat. And now I, I love this one as well. With an eighth ounce weight or 16th ounce weight trying to cast in the wind, it's almost impossible. And most of the soft plastics, three to five inch soft plastics, have no weight to them, very little weight. So these baits, being that they're full of liquid, they've got the weight. They add additional weight for casting purposes, but that liquid's very, you know, it's, it's very similar to like the density, the, the weight of water itself. And so they don't sink real fast like if it was a lead, if I added additional lead to it. So it gives me the weight I need to cast, but then that bait suspends and falls real slow. So we're going to the scales right now. We've got, I think, a 26 inch and maybe a 26 and a half or 26 and three quarters. Yeah. We're probably sitting on about 12 pounds. It's not a great tournament weight, but it's a, uh, it's a respectable one. So um, either way, we had a good day of fishing and a good day of pre-fishing yesterday. So I appreciate sure you did. coming out. Let's go ahead to the scales and see what we've got. Let's see what we did. All right. These are 26 and 3 quarter inches. They still have more room to go. As you can tell, you need 12-12 to take the lead and win the $3,000. We're going to let the computer do its work. Read the scale and lock you in at 14-38. Y'all put your hands together for your winners. 14-38. And you're in big fish too? 779, almost an 8 pounder. You want to weigh the other one too? That's good. That's good enough win, ain't it? Let's do this. Let's present you with this. This is your championship check. Now, the little one we'll get in six weeks, but don't worry about it. It's coming. No, <laughs> Y'all put your hands together one more time. Hold it down. Don't block your faces now. Let's get a few shots of them. $20 for the big fish. And there is $3,000. That's $3,220 on 16 boats. That ain't too bad, is it? That was good. Really good. All right. Now, tell us a little bit. Did you make a long run? Did you stay close? Did you save a lot of gas? What did you do? Uh, so we stayed right here. To, we stayed right here. We didn't go. We run up Core Creek, about ten miles away, but most of our fish were caught right here in the Newport River. Man, that's a great job. Hey, we appreciate y'all for being here. Congratulations. Get home safe. Be sure to come up and make our acquaintance. Let us know if we can get any information in your hands that you might be able to follow us at www.ht3outdoors or htseries.com. Thanks again from Moorhead City, North Carolina, and Beaufort. We thank you for being with HT3 Outdoors.